Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Welcome back. How are you? Good evening. Are you ready um, for English class? I return there with more force than ever. Sorry for missing today to so class. I have been very busy in my work. I oh, hope okay. to catch up. All right, cool. We are working on section number four. We already finished the midterm. So try to catch up on the weekend. Okay. All right, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be looking at section 4.6, knowledge check, instructions. Complete la conversaciones. Complete the conversations with the correct word. For example, is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not hers. It's, it's, somebody, 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 it's mine. Mine, very <laughs> good. It's mine. Number two, are these? Yours. Your gloves. To be, no, they are not. My, my, my gloves. My. Let's ask Sally. Maybe they're her, her. her gloves. T-shirts are these. Are they Julie's and Pat's? Who's? Who's? No, they are not. They are t-shirts. But these socks are? Theirs. And these shorts are? Yours. Yours. Hey, these are not? Our, our clothes, oh. you're right. Oh. Ours are over there. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent work. Very good. Does anybody have any questions about the, this exercise? Any questions about this exercise? Questions, questions? No All question. Right. All right, let's look at section 4.7, lesson objective. In this class, you will become familiar with the weather and seasons. En esta clase se familiarizarán con las estaciones del año. Around the world. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll become familiar with the weather seasons and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation, It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. 
This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. It's I, summer in Korea in the U.S. Listen to the conversation. For this activity, what I would like for you to do is write a similar conversation here in the discussion forum. You will write a similar conversation here in the discussion forum. After that, we are going to practice the pronunciation. I would like for you to change the names, Pat and Julie. Buenas noches. You can write Veronica and Maria, for example. Uh, here where it says uh, snowing or very cold, you can write raining or very hot. Uh, are you wearing your gloves? You can put, are you wearing your raincoat? Uh, no, they're at home. You can say, no, they're at work, right? You can change the vocabulary uh, whatever way you want. Any questions? Lo haremos en, en the discussion. In the discussion box. In the discussion. Okay, perfect. I'm going to put everybody in pairs. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's go. You will have 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Lo hacemos, son es una conversación similar, dijo, ¿verdad? Solo cambiarle el nombre y cambiar el vocabulario. No me carga la plataforma. En la plataforma hay que... Yo lo estoy copiando primero en la libreta. Sí, sí. Lo, pero tengo eh, que... Solo libro. tienen 10 minutos. Uh -huh. eh, yo creo que no tienen tiempo uh -huh. para estarlo escribiendo en la libreta. Debería de hacerlo en la plataforma. Uh -huh. Sí, no, no gastes tu tiempo escribiéndole en la libreta. Don't waste your time, my boy. Come on, Jonathan. Okay. Odalis, practica con Jonathan y Jocelyn. ¿Qué están practicando? Hey, Jocelyn, explain Odalis the activity, please. 
Thank you. Estamos trabajando en el punto 6 y acabamos de iniciar el tema de los climas en el 4.8. Uh -huh. 4.8. Together, together. Thank you. Patty, Walter, Isaac, are you finished? <clears throat> work, 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 work. Acabo de incorporarme, teacher. All right, Walter, Patty, escuchan? Hi, teacher. All right, Patty, explain to Isaac the activity, please. Okay. ¿Qué has puesto? Ay, ahorita, Hi, Dinora. Hi, Elizabeth. ¿Cómo van? Hi, teacher. Oh. Eh, bueno, estamos escribiendo ahorita. All right. Damaris okay. se va a incorporar al grupo en este momento. Ok. Hi. Hello, Damaris. Welcome. Hello. Work with Elizabeth and Dinora, please. Hello, Damaris. Hello, Dinora. Any questions, guys? Solo me están actualizando All right. Y todo eso que está escrito, que también lo usamos, donde dice, escucharán una conversación, es primavera en Brasil, es
Are you guys finished? No, todavía no. <laughs> How much time do you need? I don't know. Uh, five minute, minutes? All right, five more minutes. Thank you. Are you guys finished? Uh, poco, dentro de poco. Uh, teacher, I have a minutes. question. Yeah. Uh, la de terrible, it is terrible. terrible. Pero se igual, T yes, T-E-R-R-I-B-L-E. Okay, thanks. <coughs> y este, right. ¿cómo se escribe? ¿Qué pasa? Dime, como decir, oh no, ¿qué pasa? Dime, yo lo escribí, passing, tell me, ¿estará correcto? No, passing no, es what's the matter. Ah, what's the matter. matter. No, what's the matter is like, ¿qué pasa? Ah, bueno. All right, voy a incorporar a Jocelyn en su grupo. Okay. Sí. ¿Y tú? Ahorita. No sé si me escucha bien. Sí. Ah, en las últimas no he podido comunicarme bien. Parece el micrófono me da problemas. No, no, pero se escucha bien ahorita. Bueno, esperemos que así esté toda la noche. Porque I broke my umbrella. Oh, also, uh -huh. that's it. Está bien. <laughs> Oh, how lucky because I brought my umbrella. How cool. How cool. How cool. H O W cool. Cool. Yes, Oh. Así la dejé yo. Y esta palabra wearing, ¿qué significa exactamente en este contexto? Yo uso eh, vestir. Uh -huh. Yo aquí la dije. Yeah. 
All right, time's up, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody finished? <clears throat> All right, let's continue with the next activity, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be looking at the next section, 4.9. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. El presente continuo se usa para expresar las actividades que estás haciendo en el momento. Por ejemplo, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You are listening to the class right now. You are learning. You are working. We are listening to the audio at this moment. Is the use in this class learn how to form sorry repeat Kevin si es el uso del ing. that is correct the present continuous is the verb and the ing okay listen please statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be, plus the verb in its ing form, plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, 
you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you your family, your friends and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. All right, so at this moment, you are going to write 10 examples, 10 sentences here in the discussion forum. You will have 10 minutes, 10 minutes to complete this activity. Are you ready? Do you have any questions? Yes, I have a question. Yes, Robert. Eh, hay excepciones, ¿verdad? Con los verbos que se les puede agregar el ING. That is o, correct. Para no... Verbos uh -huh. pasivos. O, uh, ejemplo, es? Loving. Hating. Promising. You can use having. I am having lunch. Quiere decir, I am eating lunch. Or I am having a sandwich. Estoy comiendo un sandwich. I am having a tea. It is, I am drinking a tea. I am typing on the laptop. Estoy escribiendo en la máquina. I am playing video games. I am watching a movie. All right, Robert, another question? Uh, no, no, únicamente. Okay, thank you. Does anybody else have another question? I am listening to music. All right, I'm going to put you in pairs. Patti, you raise your hand. Um, uh, yes, you're going to be with Damaris. Okay. Let's go.
work, work, work. Hola. Hola, hola. Voy a comenzar. Ahorita. Pero no dijo cuántas o sí dijo cuántas íbamos a hacer. Eh, diez, creo que dijo. Ah, va.
Is everybody finished? Yes. All right, let's go. Is everybody finished? Yes. Okay, we're going to move on to the knowledge check 4.11. Instructions, look at the pictures and input the correct answer in the blank. For example, number one, my name is Char Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. Number one, I am wearing high heels too. So you're going to complete all the exercises in the picture with the present continuous. Do you have any questions? Vamos a completar todas las oraciones con el presente continuo. Do you have any questions? Vamos no. a completar Todas las oraciones con el presente continuo. Okay. Viendo las fotos. You have five minutes. Five minutes. Patty o Dalis no entraron. O Dalis. Eh, sí entré, pero tengo el problema con el compañero que no se le escucha nada, entonces siento como que estoy sola porque no ah, le okay. escucho. Ah, okay. Ah, pues trabaje individual. Sí está bien. Okay. Y de hecho yo ese ya lo había trabajado y ya ya está todo me salió bien. Entonces ah, okay. ahorita estaba Viendo el video que sigue. Ok, excellent. Finished? No, teacher. No. All right. I am... Finished? Ya casi. Ok. Finished? No, no, teacher. All right. <laughs> Está lenta la plataforma. Sí, se me ha trabado. Bueno, pero igual me sigues encargando de más. Está bien. Ya no me Lo que vamos a escribir es I am. 
My name is Clay. No entiendo cómo vamos a dar la respuesta aquí. No, ni. <laughs> Más que no me cargue, no me ingres. Oh, ahí sí, ahí sí, sí. Dios. Es siempre con lo del tiempo, ¿verdad? El tiempo climático. Uh -huh. Ya nos va a sacar otra vez. <ríe> <ríe> es que yo creo que sí dio un poquito más de tiempo, pero para que terminaran las oraciones, si no me no equivoco. <ríe> Estoy confundida con esto. Ah, en lo de las imágenes, ¿sabes? Ajá. Uh -huh. Pues, según el ejemplo de arriba, es como, como que se está describiendo lo que lleva. Porque dice que lleva el warning, es como eh, llevo. Porque abajo el ejemplo, el número uno es el ejemplo que está arriba, uh -huh. que dice, I warning, hi, he's too. Eh, llevo tacón alto también, o algo así creo que es. Uh -huh. Pero entonces Pero sí, lo que voy a completar es nada más wearing. Ajá, correcto. Entonces. Mm. Quiero ver la. Okay. la... <laughs> It's hot today. Entonces, uh, no, Norico. Are wearing short and t-shirt. It's very sorry, but they are not sunglasses, for example. O sea, no sé qué quiere. Ajá, uh -huh. they are not tendría que ser porque no, no están usando, ¿verdad? ¿En cuál? ¿En la, en la segunda o en...? Ajá. Uh -huh. No sé si a eso se me hace. En las dos primeras sí sería este warning, ¿verdad? Dios, ajá, no. solo eso, ¿verdad? Yo solo eso les he puesto. Pero este sería de, de agregar el to be o solo el warning, porque en el ejemplo de arriba dice. Yo marqué la primera. Porque lo que pasa es que solo, como ya tiene la I ahí, por eso es que me entré en duda. Ajá. Pero, pero sí, también pongamos en...
En la 3. Sí. Sería wearing también, ¿verdad? All right, let me have number one. Number one. No. Patty. Yes, um, I am waiting. I heels to. No, it's raining. Mm. No, no, no. Bueno. All right, it's raining, but I am not wearing a raincoat. Number two. All right, Damaris, do the next one. Number two. Wait. Number two. Oh. Patty, number two. It's bare. Okay, Denora, number two. It's very sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Excellent. It's very sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Is correct. Uh, Patty, number three. Uh, he's wearing a brown shirt. Excellent. Odalis, number four. Number four, eh. All right, number Alba, three. the next one, number three. Mm. No, no la tengo, teacher. All right, Roberto, number three. Lo siento, pero a mí se me ha tocado la plataforma también. Okay, <laughs> Isaac, number three. Teacher? Yes? <clears throat> Sería, but he is not wearing. That is correct, but he is not wearing a tie today. Number four, it's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She is wearing is wearing sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. She is not wearing, is not wearing, is not wearing boots. Number four, she is wearing, is wearing a sneaker, is wearing sneakers. Excellent. Does anybody have any questions? No, did you? All right. Now your homework is going to be section 4.12, yes, no questions. You're going to look at the video. And then when you finish, you are going to write 10 examples of yes, no questions, similar to the ones Odali has. Are you playing football? Are you reading a book? Are you cooking dinner? Are you working today? Are you, see, are you watching a movie? Are you said you're watching a movie? Are you listening to the teacher? Are you teaching Spanish? Are you looking for your keys? Are you studying English? Are you waiting 
for your mother a quesadilla of four. Similar to these examples, but I want you to answer. Positive, yes, I am. Negative, no, I am not. Do you understand? Teacher, yes. en, en la plataforma. Plus, perdón, no se puede editar. Ya cuando uno ya lo hizo. Si se puede, está una pantallita a un lado que te da tres puntitos. Y aquí donde dice more, ahí te dice editar. Evening. Ah, okay. Evening. Good evening. Yes. All right, guys. That's all for today. Enjoy your Valentine's Day tomorrow. And we see you Monday. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.